Today we are arriving in Rhodes, which I learned I'm saying wrong, of course, because um, somebody here in Greece was like, it's Rojores. Child, they know that they should have known better than trying to teach me Greek. <laughs> but today I actually have an excursion with some of the members of the Virgin team. Um, and so it's going to be a good time. So I think some of the um, other influencers are, are coming too. And we're going to see an Acropolis of Lindos or something like that. I don't really know what I was doing. I was just like, I'm in. So um, we're going to get off the ship today, do a little bit of exploring. But first we are starting with breakfast. So we're going to head down to the galley, get us an omelet made, um, and then prepare for this day. So see you back in a minute. This is going to be a walkthrough of the galley. For those of you who don't know, Virgin Voyages includes over 20 restaurants and a bulk of them are here in the galley. Now the galley is going to be comparable to what you would see as a buffet area or a Lido deck on a cruise, but Virgin Voyages does not do buffets. So you have this section where you can sit down and place an order from any of these different stands. So that area we just passed was called the Daily Mix and that is where in the afternoon you would get salads, but in the morning they have bread. There are tons of selections plenty of things to choose from so no shortage there this area that we're currently at is the sweet spot in the afternoons but in the morning it's called well bread and this is where you're going to get more breaded items so more and more bread 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 <laughs> This next section that we're coming up on is my favorite, which is Diner and Dash. Now this is a 24 hour breakfast where they will make it fresh to order. You can order it any time of night or day. And as you guys can see, the selection is huge from tater tots to sausage, bacon, roasted tomatoes, everything. They will even make you an omelet if you ask for it. Next section is Bento Baby. And during the afternoon, this has sushi. So you can just walk up, grab a box of sushi, sit down, take it to your room, whatever. Um, during in the morning these are bento boxes of different selections of fruit so really good to add to any breakfast next is let's talk about it which is um, a taco stand that serves different kinds of tacos next is noodle around which is one of my favorite for ramen bowls these are delicious they have a spicy one that is absolutely to die for um, in the morning they do an express breakfast here so if you're on the go you can just grab breakfast really quick Next is hot off the press. So this is where you're going to find paninis and sandwiches of all sorts. There's a Nutella sandwich, peanut butter and jelly, everything you can think of. First views of roads from my cabin. All right, so I'm down here in the main meeting area for the um, Rhodes excursion. And this excursion is actually led by one of Virgin Galactic's astronauts who have been in space. So it's gonna be really cool to get to meet um, her or him and get to see some other views and roads. So we're gonna head there in a minute and I'm gonna tell you guys all about how the process is. So stay tuned. Okay, so you meet in the um, little rotunda on seven, come down to four. Um, they give you a number for your bus and as you guys can see each bus is numbered right up here in the front and we are going to bus 10 which is right here nice to meet you Paris like Paris of joy Paris of heaven you stay with us to the end of our visit to the end of the tour so you may leave your belongings in the bus Whatever we'll go. And uh, I guess we'll be back around 3.30, which means that uh, since the last one we brought is 5.30, you still gonna have two hours if you want to go and see the medieval town opposite to the harbor. All these fortifications belong to the city of the Knights of St. John. We can always go back in town. After lunch, we reach the Temple of Athena on the way to the top. Together. It was at this moment that I learned that you had to climb 300 steps to get to the top of this excursion. Thank you. Let your journey, your attention please. This is the main square of the village. And it is signed all over the village in English to the square.
God is a wisdom. When we talk about donations, it's a kind of a sacrifice. It's a gift to the goddess in case of a problem in the family, in case of a sickness in the family. People are trying every day coming from all over Greece, from all over Greece, carrying gifts such as idols, small statues, pottery jewelry. I cannot believe I actually climbed all 300 steps to the top of the Acropolis, but it is absolutely beautiful. And some pieces behind me, what you see that's not shiny was built in like two and four BC. Insane, insane to see something that um, was built that long ago and that much history. And when I show you guys the views from up here, it is so beautiful, so amazing y'all. This was a good choice. I kind of fell into <laughs> um, this event, but um, this was a good choice because it's beautiful. Hey guys, so I was able to take plenty of photos um, and get taking these beautiful views, but I am about to head down. So it's back down 300 steps. <laughs> So let's begin the journey down and get back to the shuttle for the next stop. One of the highlights of the Virgin Celebration Cruise was getting to spend time up close and personal with different members from Virgin Group. So in this event, we were able to hear firsthand from members from Virgin Galactic. So listen to Jamila tell her story about visiting space. You will not believe it. Take too much of your time, but one of the things that we know on Earth is that there are borders and there are barriers and people put themselves in boxes, but you see none of that from space. So it's this feeling of seeing the planet and knowing that you belong <laughs> no no don't cry <laughs> you belong to this planet it is your home planet and what a thing to go to space and not want to just peer into the darkness and this depth and this vastness but going to space and wanting to look back at your home and it was the most amazing experience of my life it was the best day of my life uh, I keep saying that and my husband brings up, yeah, thumbs down over there because he says, what about our wedding day? Uh, <laughs> but it was it was the most incredible, incredible moment. And um, I've been with the company for four years. We've been talking about transformational space flight. We've been talking about taking people to space. And uh, it's every bit and more amazing than what we've been saying. So I was just, it's been a divine honor to do it and an absolute privilege. And so. Any questions you've got, uh, we'd love to, to understand uh, what, what you guys are thinking about it. Uh, you know, it's, uh, it's definitely a new industry for sure, so. <laughs> This excursion also included lunch with these beautiful beach views. So we all sat at the table as a group and had an authentic Greek lunch. We got to know each other a little bit better and it included all the wine you could drink and of course tons of different seafood and Greek meal options.
<laughs> they squeak the whole time. But when I tell you my feet do not hurt at all after walking on those hills and I do not fly, I don't care, squeak away. I'm a couple hours late doing a recap on the excursion, but it was so amazing. And so, um, of course, you guys saw us get on the bus and um, go to the Acropolis and everything. The 300 steps really wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. Um, I had these shoes that were perfect. The hiking shoes made the world of difference. My feet don't hurt at all. I wasn't slipping. It really helped to kind of grip. Um, so those turned out to be an awesome purchase and a great find. Um, and so I actually had an opportunity to speak with Stephen, who is the first employee of Virgin Galactic. Um, Sir Richard brought him on personally to um, kind of lead the charge into them entering space and opening up that division. And he had so much to say about the culture of Virgin and what, you know, Richard's plan has always been for um, treating people well and, you know, just taking care of communities and everything. And we had an opportunity to really discuss what cruising has been like for us um, and coming in contact with the crew and um, it was just really amazing to hear the effort that they put into really um, not only just compensating people but treating people fairly and compensating them in a fair way and so you know they talked about how um, everything that version creates and kind of sticks their hands in it's they do it because they see um, something that needs to be improved upon or changed within the industry. And so, of course, with cruising, there's so many different things that you hear. Um, I'm not sure if it's true or not, but, you know, I've always heard that the crew wasn't treated as well um, on some other cruise lines. And so it's very good to hear that Virgin makes such an effort to treat their crew well on the ship and allow them to um, go to the regular spaces that guests would go to as long as they're not there. And they get to have their own crew parties and do all of these other things. And they provide free internet so that the crew can stay in contact with their families and, and everything. And so it was just really beautiful to hear um, that it made me feel even more special to be a part of uh, working with this brand because that's that's just amazing that, you know, of course, everyone has to make money. Um, there has to be a financial component to it, but to know that they're actually um, trying to treat people well across every uh, version company and everything that version is affiliated with is just so beautiful. So um, I got to talk to him on top of the Acropolis, and then I met with Jamila, who is one of the um, astronauts who went to space actually three months ago. Like, wow, just three months ago. And I mean, it almost brought me to tears to hear her experience and what it was like for her because she detailed like not seeing borders. And um, she talked about the fact that the um, spaceship actually had 17 cameras inside. And so she showed me on her phone what it looked like to see Earth. So it showed like her as well as what she was looking at and seeing, um, seeing Earth from space and I mean, it was just wow. Like the video that I saw is indescribable. So I can't imagine what it must be like for her. And, um, you know, her husband was here. And so you really, really got an opportunity to really interact with her and learn about um, Virgin Galactic as a company and what her space experience was like. Um, there also was another astronaut who was there as well. And unfortunately, I cannot remember her name. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I can't remember her name. But um, she was amazing, too. And just everyone was just so willing to just talk to you and detail their experience and answer questions. And they were just so patient. And it was just so beautiful. And so I ended up on this excursion kind of as a, a on a whim. Um, but I'm so happy I did because it was such a unique experience and something that I would have thought I, I would have thought I could not climb 300 steps of that Acropolis and um, you know I would have counted myself out and so I did something that I did not know that I physically could do and that I was strong enough to do and you know it turned out to be beautiful like looking down at everything from there the Acropolis was um, they said it's been there since like 4 BC so I mean it, it was just such a moment where when you think about that like wow um, and so after we did the Acropolis thing, we hopped back on the bus and we went to um, dinner or went to lunch out at a um, restaurant where it was overlooking the beach and the bay. And 
oh my goodness the views were so amazing and they just brought plate after plate after plate of food different seafood there were like mussels and um calamari and little shrimp and I mean, just Greek salad, just more and more and more, everything you can eat, just wine that you could just pour. And I mean, it was just such an amazing experience. And so I am very, very happy with um, the excursion that I went to today. I, like I said, I knew nothing about roads. And so, um, you know, it was, it was pretty interesting to do something fun and something outside of just staying on the ship. Um, I will say the thing that's a little difficult in navigating this and that we're going to so many amazing places um, is that I don't really get to spend a lot of time on the ship or a lot of time in my room or on my balcony. Um, I know we have only one sea day and um, during that they're going to be doing different um, like mini series and conferences about uh, with with some of the different version um, CEOs and divisions that are here. And so it's a little difficult to navigate that piece of it. But I mean, what a beautiful issue to have, like being on an amazing ship or going out and, you know, experiencing amaz an amazing new place. So definitely feel so blessed to be here um, and have been having such a great experience. Um, so the agenda for tonight is we are going to Pink Agave. Um, I think there is a show called Misbehave that's happening tonight. So I want to at least pop in there and see what it's about. Um, but other than that, um, schedule's pretty open. You guys know Pink Agave is one of my favorite, favorite restaurants on this ship. I think it's the, yeah, it's my favorite restaurant on the ship. Um, so I'm getting ready to get my steak. Mm, mm, mm. I can just taste it now and um go and see what pink agave is all about again um and then we'll see what we get into the rest of the night i am so tired guys like um i didn't do this recap earlier because i came in took a shower and went straight to sleep um i'm having trouble adjusting to the time i think because i um, go to sleep at about two in the morning and then i'm waking up at six in the morning so it's kind of like i'm awake during um both time zones and and times and so that's a little difficult to navigate but um it's gonna be okay we're gonna nap through it because it's it's such an amazing experience we need to be up most of it anyway so um let's get into the night activities and figure out what we're gonna wear see you guys back in a minute <laughs> So I'm here and I have never sat back this far in Picagave, so I don't know if the other one looks like this on Scarlet Lady, but it's so cute. But we're actually here in time to bump up against the um, res the Picagave After Dark, which starts in 30 minutes. So we're gonna see this place transform a little bit in a minute. So I'm excited. I just fangirled so hard because I met the chef um, who created the pink agave menu and meals. Y'all, she was so cool. She sat at the table with me while I actually ate my steak. And you guys know how I feel about that steak. I always talk about how good it is and how it's my favorite meal. So what an experience. That was so unexpected. What a day. <laughs> um, yeah, but pink agave was amazing as usual. I didn't get any footage because I didn't want to be weird while she was sitting at the table with me and I wanted to really um, enjoy the moment and take it in. Next time on the Gen Z Yale Experience, we tour the spa and spend the day with the Virgin Voyages staff in Turkey. You guys will not believe what happened. Tune in next week because you definitely don't want to miss it. Thanks for watching.